Good Friday afternoon, everybody. We are playing Dead Souls to kick off the weekend. And in this episode, we are going to try and show you um, a little bit of footage of how you can get through this game pretty far uh, with overpowered abilities. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, these are abilities that, uh, that allow you to kill enemies while you are away or off screen and kind of keep you out of the danger zone. So we want to do that, and um, hopefully we get to show you guys that today. As you can see, the game is still in early access. Um, the game is still being showed off at many, many shows. We saw it at Comic-Con recently. But the developers are doing a good job of uh, rolling out those updates and always adding content, so... Let's go ahead and see how far we can get. Ah, RNG favors us again today. I had previously mentioned that uh, this this weapon right here, the electric whip on the left, it's one of the best uh, weapons in the game as far as I'm concerned. It's uh, it targets enemies automatically, it takes uh, takes half of the thinking out for you when you're fighting, which is good because you could focus on actually staying alive and not being hit. Um, it is a little weak. It is a little weak to start off. But later on, as you get more powerful, you want to uh, pump a lot of uh, points into strength to kind of mitigate how weak it is. And for those of you who, uh, okay, this is a power up force skill. If we want to go the ability route, we should uh, definitely get a lot of these. Another thing to look out for are uh, amulets, as amulets are the only item in the game that give you some any sort of damage reduction. And the most damage reduction you can get on an amulet is 30%, which is quite, quite a lot, so we'll go ahead and look out for that whilst uh, trying to do our OP uh, double ability build. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, we're gonna replace that. We don't want to go to the Oz Ferry yet. We are way underpowered for that. But the abilities we're looking for are the, um, the Mitch Swarms by far. Uh, if you can get two of those, you can basically throw them into any hole with an enemy and they'll just kind of take care of the dirty work for you as you sit back and drink some coffee. And um, the more upgrades you get on uh, ability powers, the stronger they are, the stronger they become, and the faster they kill. So that's a lot of help. Okay, there's the sewers. Our last run, we did not find any of those uh, those abilities, the mid swarms. But we'll see if we're lucky today. Okay, we have a strength bar up here. This is good. What does he have? Oh yeah, we'll take a power up. Um, I think for this run, 
We're going to try and go strength because we already have the lightning whip. If we find the abilities we want later, then we can go ahead and upgrade abilities. But for now, we're not guaranteed them. So we're not going to pump uh, any points into that. Firebomb. It's a decent enough ability. We'll take it. Now every time you um, complete a level such as that, you need to spend all of the cells that you've taken from that level. You can't save them up to buy anything out. You have to pump the cells into the item you want slowly. If you wait for the enemies to uh, be right behind a door, when you kind of bust through a room, it stuns them for a little while, so that's very helpful. Okay, we have another ability. Scroll. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it gives us the ability you want. As you can see, with the... Uh, With the lightning whip, if I'm hitting an enemy in the water, it electrocutes the whole water. And um, it causes damage to all the enemies that step inside it, so that's really cool. Damage taken reduced by 15% drops a bomb when you roll. That's a nice little upgrade for us. The damage reduction is nice, and if you roll a lot like you should be, you'll be dropping a lot of bombs. So. Okay, we'll take that. Ah, three minutes ago. A little too late on that, guys. There's a lot of uh, protection dummies in this one. Now I think this is going to take us down to... A lot of these uh, segments of the game, such as this one, you're not going to be able to uh, 
access when you first start because this requires a double jump to get to and you will not have that um, at the beginning of the game. Cluster Bomb is also a great ability. As you can see, it releases uh, four or five grenades. Look at that, we got an achievement. Nice. I don't trust myself around these things. I'm gonna heal up. We're doing well, guys. Um, we still haven't found the abilities that we need yet. But what we have right now is is really decent. The cluster bomb, um, when it's upgraded, is pretty powerful. As you can see, it kills most things in um in one use. So it's pretty great. We're not gonna go up just yet. Let's see what's over here for us. No, we're not gonna go to the prison depths yet. As you can tell, our uh, our lightning whip is still pretty weak. We've only gotten two upgrades for it so far. It's kind of a good deterrent because it'll stun enemies if they're hit consistently. Uh, but other than that, it's uh, it's not very useful to us right now. It leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah, the cluster bomb is one of the best abilities as far as I'm concerned, for sure. Okay, let's go down here. Now since we're not focusing on uh, health, as we pump all of our uh, skills into damage, both ability and physical, we are uh, we're only sitting at 100 health, which depletes pretty quickly. So you kind of have to play a little gingerly. And make sure you survive until you get those uh, get the awesome uh, abilities that allow you to kind of sit back. As you can see, we missed the time door there by four minutes. Um, each door after this is just going to keep ticking, so if we don't hurry through this real quick, we're not going to unlock it, which is fine. Um, I think at this point I'd like to spend time and make sure I don't die. Like so. You drop the stun me stun melee weapon, which we're not in need of right now. All right, we have another physical damage up.
Hmm. Okay, I see it. Black Bridge is the first uh, first boss, though. We're gonna continue to explore and see if we can find um, anything else that might be useful to us before we face face the boss. Right now, we are looking at 225 damage a second for the electric whip. Not the best, but. down there apparently. We've got a health boost, this will help quite a bit. We're happy with that. And let's see if there's anything down here. Alright, we have another health boost. Very nice. Some of the uh, some of the stat scrolls they give you the option to choose what stat you want to upgrade. Um, if you're going for now, we're gonna keep the uh, the fire grenade. If you're going through, if you're going for an ability build or a damage build, you don't want to necessarily pump your points into health. Surviving early on is pretty easy. Um, so it's always nice when you get the health for free and you don't have to choose. You're kind of forced into it. Okay, well we didn't get what we wanted, so we're going to go ahead and do the first boss. And this build is uh, plenty good enough to fight the first boss. The incomplete one. So once he hits, uh, once he hits 50%, he, he gains a few new moves. He starts to uh, jump, and he does this little uh, wave attack more frequently. So you gotta look out for that. We 
go, guys. Thanks for joining us. We'll uh, we'll continue in the next episode in our conquest for the best ability build that we can do.